Hi everybody, welcome to this full 18 holes weekend round guide video for the St. Patrick's Day tournament in Expert Division here on the channel. Please hit the thumbs up if you haven't done so already. It would help me out a lot and make sure you become a subscriber. Totally free to do so. Like I said, all 18 holes here, new front nine compared to the opening round, but of course the back nine is the same wins that you played. Timestamps in the video description down below. As usual, take a token or two if you can. It will help improve your scores. Get familiar with the setups and tweak and adapt to your play style as needed. Good luck. Here we go. A little bit of a nasty wind angle to begin with here on this par 4. We're going to set up with the quarterback. White ring touching the rough on the left-hand side at P3 max. Then we switch to APOC and Grizzly bag. 5.8 top spin, one bar side spin. To the left, the adjustment is going to be max plus 10. With APOC 5 plus, you won't be adjusting into overpower. You'll see here with my 6.6 and 6 .6 ring adjustment takes me to plus 10. If with APOC 4 you adjust into overpower, add that on. The base overpower here is circle drop. So make sure you add circle drop to whatever overpower you need with APOC 4. Bouncing very clearly though over the rough, rolling out into the sunshiny part of the fairway around 332 to 335 yards. Second shot, we're going to make a, a fringe check first. And that is the bullseye over the fringe where it meets the green rather than the fairway. Plus two with Grizzly 9 will be plus five with Grizzly level 7 and 8. And we added 1.2 top spin, having the ball guide nicely through the hole and the top of the red ring touching the rough line. Very similar ring placement to the other stages and the other wind angles that we've had on this par 4. For a plus 2 uh, fringe check, we're going to play 70% slider, 10% elevation. And you will need to use Grizzly 9 numbers, please, when you make this adjustment. And all being well with a nice centred ball then you can have a very good chance, even with this nasty wind angle, for an eagle. Now we're going to have to use the grizzly here with this tailwind angle. We're going to add spin first, and in the end, a bit of a weird spin amount, but I'm settling with 0.8 backspin and one and a half side spin to the left. Then we're finding our position top of plus five with Grizzly nine, top of plus eight with Grizzly seven and eight. Now you can see here the ball guide is missing the left hand side of the cup. Just need to tweak the aim here because I miss to the side. So I would recommend you aim kind of in between the left edge of the cup and the pin. Uh, this is a pretty tricky part three to be honest. The adjustment is max plus 30. Power 3 settings with Grizzly 9 numbers, regardless of your club level. And two pulls over the bullseye. A um, bit tricky to adjust accurately, you can't zoom in that much, so do the best you can. But like I said, just tweak the aim. This is an unfortunate case where I lip out from the left side. So a couple of more clicks to the right with our aim. You should be close or in for the hole in one. Another nasty wind angle, which means we just take the eagle and run. Set up with the quarterback 9 plus at the top of plus 10, with a white ring touching the rough on the right, then switch to APOC, Cataclysm, bag. 5.8 top spin, 3 bars side spin to the right, adjust max plus 0, power 3 settings, and then it's time to take our shot. Unfortunately, this is going to be a full overpower shot, and we need one ball curl to the right, APOC 4 is going to have a pretty much full shaky needle here, so if you are able to swap to a higher power ball with side spin 3 and wind 3 or greater, then do so because it will make your needle shake less. But with APOC 6, I've been okay with a minor great left and a minor great right. Drive distance, 350 yards. Second shot, we're going to play 6.2 top spin two bars left spin and find a position here where you can move around a bit giving yourself room from the rough on the left and the sand above without that ball guide glitching around you kind of want to avoid that glitchy spot if possible even though we're not at max distance of club i'm adjusting max distance zero elevation and then i'm going to go with circle drop over power 
because we are just down into the bunker. Like I said though, this is all about getting it to green. Minor great left, minor great right have been fine in testing and we bounce over very nicely. And if you don't stay on the green, it doesn't matter. You're going to roll back down to the fringe for a very simple end bringer wedge to secure your eagle with this very, very nasty wind angle on this par five. Going to bounce over with the grizzly here. Now, if you're playing with a side spin four ball, you could actually add some left spin, but if not, you're going to go with 1.8 top spin and three left spin. This needs a little tweak on the curl. Yellow ring touching the rough at the top of plus four with grizzly nine, top of plus seven with grizzly seven and eight. The adjustment is max plus 25, power three. Try and keep the wind below eight miles per hour on this one, please. Two pulls over the bullseye using grizzly nine numbers. Now, a single great left has been fine in testing. Uh, untested with single great right, so please be advised about that one. Try and take a token or two. Here I'm going with um, six clicks of curl to the left. Never ideal to play with curl. If you've got the king slayer or a side spin four ball and don't want to use curl, then I would try with a token, put a couple more clicks of left spin on here. But even if you're playing with a kingmaker, just need to tweak it a little bit for the hole in one here on this par three. Going aggressive here now, I'm going with six top spin. Uh, on this one. If you've only got 5.8 then proceed with caution because uh, slightly more crosswind angle you might not make it out of the rough. But we're going with 6 top spin, 2 right spin, APOC 5 and above, top of plus 24 and you'll see the ball guide is in between that little gap of the rocks here. You can see I'm actually just at plus 25 um, but plus 24 the top of is what I'm aiming for. Max plus 10 power five. The alternatives here, if you don't want to risk going short and not making it out of the rough, you could try with the Thor's hammer with uh, with this amount of top spin. You could try with extra mile nine as well. Make sure you compensate. I pushed up five yards here, going with full overpower and no curl. Slightly shaky needle, but still a good chance of hitting perfect. But like I say, there's a lot of variables here. You could try different clubs. You could tweak it a little bit, but there is one suggestion of how to get to green for the eagle. On this par 5, going to drive with the rock, going with four top spin, and we are aiming with the ball guide going towards the very tip of the fairway, right down the middle. Top of plus 6 with rock level 8, top of plus 5 with the rock level 9. We then adjust maximum distance, 15% elevation, and the idea here is just to lay up towards the top of the fairway. If you don't get as many yards as me on the drive here, and it is possible to get a slight dead bounce, you're still going to be okay for your second shot because I've built the second shot adjustment around the fact that you might have a slightly shorter drive as well. Perfect ball away and it's going to go very nicely down the fairway. If you're worried about a great right, you could adjust a bit more, aim a bit more to the left or go with a tad of left curl. It's kind of up to you if you think you are prone to a great right. Second shot, we're going to add three top spin and three left spin and find our position with the second bounce in the rough as shown, ball guide rolling out. You can see there it's about a ring uh, away from the sand, kind of halfway between the bunker edge and the edge of the rough. We're going landing position plus yards uh, with 30% elevation because the wind is going to push this one quite a bit. So for plus two, you're going to go 75% on the slider, plus four would be 80% and so on. So there is room if you get the shorter drive, you may be setting up nearer to max distance, but look at the ball guide, that second bounce in the rough as your reference. Perfect ball away and all we want to do here is land safely on the fairway, second bounce safely towards the end of the rough and roll out onto the green, which means we're going to be putting for our eagle. Setting up before spin on this one, top of the blue ring touching the rough with the ball guide going through the hole. Then it's a weird spin set, but it's been working nicely for me. It is going to be a 0.9 backspin and 1.3 right spin. Get a feel for that. Uh, vary it by a click or two if something isn't quite working for you, if you are practicing a bit on this one. If not, of course, you're just going to have to go with it. 
Um, mid plus 20, power 3, use sniper 10 numbers here. And as always, it helps to keep the wind below 8 miles per hour if you possibly can. So mid plus 20, power 3, sniper 10 numbers hitting perfect. is going to bounce very nicely on the fairway. Second bounce before the fringe and we just sneak this one in slightly left of pin. But it's still dropping for the hole in one. On this par 4 we're going to go 5.8 top spin and 3 right spin. Setting up here at the top of plus 10 with APOC 5 and above. Blue ring touching the rough on the left with APOC 5 and 6. Uh, APOC 4 would be at P3 max and you would have 30% of the blue ring overlapping the rough. Unfortunately it just ticked over to the bottom of plus 11 yards but it won't affect the shot here. You're still going to be fine. Max plus 10. Um, the bushes did get in the way. I just about managed to see my 6.1 rings on this occasion. But if you're worried about that, then always push rings uh, to adjust if you want to be a bit more accurate. Um, full overpower, slower needle, driving very nicely down the left-hand side of around 414 yards. Second shot, we're going to play rings from min. So find the min line. And then I'm turning my camera round to push rings up accurately. You don't have to do that though. Uh, there's 5 and here's 10. And then a couple more. I kind of want to be uh, nicely onto the fairway. In the end I go another 3. So that is a total of 13 rings from min. Then I'm modifying my aim to have the ball guide through the hole before applying backspin as needed to get the tip of the ball guide just before the front edge of the cup. Backspin will vary for me. Going to be between one and a half and two backspin. One percent slider per ring up from min. So as I pushed up 13 rings from min, you're going to play 13 percent slider in this occasion. Zero elevation and pulling over the bullseye with the thorn. So making our adjustment there, one percent slider per ring. So even if you get slightly longer drive, you can still hopefully play rings from min. But of course you might need to vary or increase the backspin accordingly. So make sure you look at the tip of the ball guide as the reference, dropping it very nicely for the eagle. Bit of a nasty one here as well. Red ring touching the rough on the right with the quarterback at the top of plus 8 yards. Then we switch to our APOC and Cataclysm bag. Then time to add spin, 2 top spin, 3 right spin and we are going to adjust max plus 10. I want to push this one quite close to the rough. Like I said, if you're not comfortable with that, you can dial it back. However, it may compromise you on the second shot. Like I said, this is a bit of a nasty one. Uh, if you want to kind of short drive proof it, as it were, then play with a higher power ball. A 1.75 ball of curl. Look at the gap between the kingmaker and the triangle for a reference just before the circle drops as our overpower reference. If you're worried about a great left, Go with a bit more curl. You want to be around 310 yards. Second shot, we're adding spin first. 4.3 top spin, no side spin. Stretch out and look at the ball guide. You want it pointing to where that fringe just juts in to the general shape of the green. You are probably going to adjust along the max line here with a power 3 ball. We're going max plus 10. Now, I'm just adjusting along the max line. If you have more headwind angle, then I would then add a couple of clicks more top spin. We're going full over power. It is going to be a shaky needle, but you have got a great left and a great right on this one. Max plus 10, and then of course, trying to hit perfect. We've got clearance from the rough there, but you want to make sure you are going to make it onto the green. You don't want to be short. I'd rather come in a bit hot on this one than be stopping short on the green. So if you're worried about that, Add a click of top spin, but there you're going to be putting for your eagle. We're going to drive with the rock here and then play the approach with the grizzly with this nice wind angle. Uh, four top spin and two bars left spin. And the position here is the blue ring touching the rough on the left. Uh, rock level eight is going to be at the top of plus 11. Rock level nine is going to be at the top of plus 10. And then we just max plus five, power three. Max plus five, power three. Making sure of a nice straight pull angle there, making our adjustment and then time to take our shot. Hitting perfect, plain ball, no curl 
no overpower, just a nice centred ball. And it's going to bounce over the rough and roll down the next fairway to set up a rough bump with the Grizzly. I'm going to make a pin check first. Drive distance is going to be in the region of 350 yards. Pin check then, bullseye directly over the pin. It gives me plus one with Grizzly 9. That would be equivalent of plus four with Grizzly 7 and 8. Then we find our position with the top of the red ring touching the rough line. And we are going to then... Um, set up the shot, adding a little bit of top spin, 0.2 top spin, and you want to have the ball guide going to the front uh, part of the cup. So ball guide to the front edge of the cup, red ring touching the rough. Uh, for that pin check, plus one with Grizzly 9, uh, you're going to go mid plus five, so 50% slider, 5% elevation, and regardless of your club level, you're going to use Grizzly 9 numbers. I'm going to do a um, grizzly shot here with this wind angle just so we don't adjust in between clubs. 0.2 top spin, 3 bars side spin to the left. And we're looking at the white ring is going to be just by the rough line on the right. And the second bounce before the fringe and the ball guide will look weird showing that it is going to trail off from the green. Now for our plus yards we're at the top of plus 3 with grizzly level 9. Top of plus six with Grizzly seven and eight. Try and keep the wind below uh, eight miles per hour. Not tested this in anything above eight. Uh, adjustment is max plus 15, power two settings, and we're going to adjust twice over the bullseye. Be as accurate as you can. You can't really zoom in that much on this hole, so just be as accurate as possible. Using Grizzly nine numbers on this one and a nicely centered ball subject to any wind angle tweaks, is going to have a very good chance at a hole in one on this tough par three. No chance of going aggressive in this wind angle, so it's safe eagle only here. Red ring touching the rough on the right with APOC five and six at the top of plus zero. We're going with four, uh, sorry, 5.8 top spin and three right spin. APOC four will have 20% of the red ring in the rough, and you will be at the top of plus six. Adjustment here, max plus zero, power three settings. Now with APOC uh, level four, it's gonna take you into overpower, so make sure you add enough overpower on. Here with APOC five, I'm using uh, just before the circle drops as my overpower reference and hitting perfect. So take a token or two with APOC four, or use a higher power ball if you're able to, just to make sure you get enough distance on this shot. Drive distance around 345. Second shot is all about just getting it safely to green. You don't want to get that glitch roll that you can see just flickering with the ball guide, so make sure you're setting up to the left of that, leaving yourself enough room from the rough on the left and the bunker up ahead. Here I'm not using any plus yard reference checks as this is just a safe uh, shot to green. The adjustment I'm going with here is mid plus zero. Uh, we're going with just over six bars of topspin with the Cataclysm or the Big Dog. Perfect ball away and this is going to bounce before the bunker and the topspin will help us along the fairway. In the region of the green you'll either end up on the green or if not you might take the slope down as I do here onto the fringe for a very simple wedge for your eagle. Now I've got the hole in one here from the minimum distance line with our sniper and a power three ball. Red ring touching the rough, but I would like you to tweak the backspin. This one comes in pretty hot. As you can see, I use um, 0.5 backspin in the video here, but uh, a little bit more might be nice just in case you miss the pin uh, by a click or two to the left or right. Uh, you may just bounce out of the cup. So take a token or two, add a bit more backspin, and see how that works for you. The adjustment is min plus 30, power three numbers on this one. Min plus 30, power three.
Lovely wind angle here. We can go cheap with a Titan. Always nice not to use a Kingmaker if we can. Here I'm adding spin first. Now you can see I'm adding here 6.1 top spin. If you haven't got that available, it doesn't matter because 5.8 will work. But a bit more top spin just gets you a bit closer to the green. P3 max with APOC 5 plus red ring touching the rough on the right with APOC 5 and 6. You can look at the ball guide as well, just passing the edge of that uh, rock that sticks out there in the kind of Giants Causeway style rock configuration. APOC 4 will stretch out 1.7 rings into OP to find the position. Adjustment max plus 10, then APOC 5 and 6 you're going to push up two rings. Uh, APOC 4 I would suggest you to push up around 3.2 rings as a guide, maybe 3.5, take a token or two because you've got different accuracy on your club. Full overpower, slower needle, bouncing before the end of the fairway into the rough and the top spin takes us out very close to the fringe for a very simple wedge for our eagle. On the drive here we're going to go down the right side with this wind angle to set up an albatross attempt and we're going to add 5.8 top spin starting at plus 10 for APOC 5 and above. Uh, APOC 5 and 6 will have half of the blue ring inside the rough but look at the ball guide as well it's just right of centre on the bottleneck part of the fairway. APOC 4 will be at P3 max distance and will have approximately 80% of the blue ring inside the rough. Max plus 15 is the adjustment here, no push up needed, just um, adjust and then um, we're going to go max overpower with a slower needle and we're going to try and hit perfect. APOC 4 will have a little bit of a shake on the needle but you can remedy this by switching to a higher power ball if you are able to. Drive distance here, you're looking at getting a decent roll down the fairway of around uh, 410 yards. Second shot, I'm going with a bounce up rather than the rough bump, making a fringe check, plus seven where the bullseye is over the first fringe line in line with the pin. That is with sniper 10. Sniper nine will be plus nine. Now I'm using a fair amount of backspin here, about six backspin. If you've got a lower level sniper and you're running out of backspin, then you could try with a guardian as well, but take a token or two first. So it's about six backspin, three left spin, setting up with the ball guide uh, in line with the pin but obviously three green squares short and for a plus seven fringe check we're going mid distance zero elevation if you're using sniper nine you would be playing plus nine as mid and you use sniper ten numbers might need a tweak or two especially with wind angle and wind strength but if you don't get the albatross you can have a very safe eagle here we're going to play a no move target shot with our sniper and either a kingmaker or a kingslayer try and keep the wind below 8 miles per hour. Unusual combination of spins here but it was 0.9 backspin and 0.8 left spin. Uh, might need a tweak to that though with different wind angles but here is a reference for you to work from and this will need a tweak anyway. The adjustment I'm suggesting um, based on the video is 1 to 1 plus 0.1. So for 7.7, .7, I would adjust 7.8 rings. This one is a little bit sensitive to pull angle and wind angle variation, as you can see here, just catching the left edge and unfortunately lipping out for the hole in one on this occasion. Uh, we're going with the APOC and the Thorn here, four top spin and three right spin on the drive. Red ring touching the rough on the right with APOC five and six at the top of plus two. APOC 4 would be at the top of plus 8 with 20% of the red ring overlapping the rough. Adjust max plus 10 power 3 settings. And once we've done that we are going to use a little bit of curl to the right. And just before the circle drops as our overpower reference. So you can see there the edge of the ball touching the outside wall of the adjustment ring. So outer wall curl to the right just before the circle drops for overpower. Don't overdo the overpower here, we don't want to roll in the rough. If you have more crosswind angle, you might want to take a click or two of top spin off, but just take a token or two and tweak if needed. Drive distance around 365, we'll set up a fringe check with the thorn. Bullseye over the first fringe line, in line with the pin, gives me plus three. And then we're gonna use 80% slider for that one. 
going to find our position here with spin added first. We will need a one bar of left spin and five bars of top spin. Then you want to have the red ring touching the rough line with the ball guide, sorry, half of the red ring overlapping the rough, just a slight revision there, half of the red ring outside the rough. Ball guide, you can see, touching the left edge of the cup to compensate for the crosswind angle. Uh, plus three fringe check is going to be 80% slider, 10% elevation, and the final part of the equation is, of course, that we pull over the bullseye. Then a nicely centred ball here. We'll have a good chance for an eagle with this rough bump setup. Going to drive with the rock here with this wind angle. We're going to have the red ring touching the rough at the top of plus six with the rock level eight. Uh, top of plus five with the rock level uh, nine. Going with 1.2 backspin, three bars side spin to the right. If you are worried about going long or have a higher wind, then by all means play it safer and add a little bit more backspin. Ultimately, the decision is yours on all of these shots. Take a token or two, see how they're working out for you and put tweaks in if needed. Max plus 10, going with one and a half balls of curl to the right just before the circle drops as our overpower reference. Look at the edge of the kingmaker touching the outside tip of the triangle for an additional curl reference. Hitting perfect here and we're driving down the fairway nicely. Like I said, if you're worried about the proximity to the rough, add a little bit more backspin. Second shot, we're going to play with the cataclysm or the big dog and we're going with four and a half top spin and one bar side spin to the right. Stretch out and find that position with the ball guide aiming at the green as shown in between the fringe and the pin. Max plus 10 is the adjustment here. Max plus 10, power 3. And we're not going to push up. Instead, we are going with full overpower, uh, slower needle. But you've got room for a great left and a great right here. And the idea is just to get safely down to the green. As you can see, um, a decent great right from me here, but a perfect and a great left has been fine as well. And the top spin takes us nicely down to the green. And we're going to be putting for our eagle on this par 5. Thank you for watching this video on the St. Patrick's Day tournament. Please head over to Facebook, search for BK Golf Clash. Join our free Facebook group. Free guides, shot sharing, discussion points as well. Loads of helpful members there to help improve your game. Look forward to seeing you there and good luck in the St. Patrick's Day tournament. See you soon. Bye for now.